Welcome to AutoDrive Academy for Farming Simulator 22. I am Mighty Mike, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the AutoDrive mod. We're going to take a look at some of the basic menu items that you'll need to know, and then we're going to create our first course. I'm going to show you how to do that, set up a waypoint, and connect it to an existing course. Before we get started, Please help me supercharge this video, get it out to more people. Click that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate that. Before we get started here, I'm going to show you this screenshot here. It says, should auto drive generate a route network from the traffic and helper data on the map? This will show up the first time you either enable the auto drive mod on an, an existing game save, or it will start on a new save game if you have auto drive enabled i would suggest that you click yes uh, what this is going to do is pull in the the ai helper routes that have been built into the map so especially on the base game maps elm creek erlingrot and oud Belleron, those created by giants and released with the game uh, they have the the networks already built in so they're pretty good you can pull them in and that'll help you or save you some time on some route creations. As you can see here on the screen, there is nothing shown up that shows anything with auto drive. It will only show up when you are in a vehicle. So now you see on the right side of the screen, the auto drive menu has appeared. Uh, real quick, to get that to disappear, you hit left alt and number pad zero. And if you wanna bring it back, same thing. To be able to move your mouse and not your camera, you want to be able to, you want to press down on your middle mouse button or uh, the scroll wheel, and that will unlock your mouse, and then you can get over to make some changes. Additionally, this information is in the F1 menu, so if you forget, it tells you here. If you click on the uh, two up arrows here on the auto drive window. It will open a window which gives you some keys that you can press when making edits and adjusting your courses. That's pretty neat. So real quick through some of the menu items, I'm not going to go through everything. I'm only going to go through a few of the basics and what is relevant to this particular episode. So if we click the gear icon here on the menu, it's going to open up our, our menu. Uh, this very first one is more for equipment, combines, tractors, things like that, that are uh, doing a, a task. So we're not going to change any of these on this episode. The second one here is the user settings. Uh, there are some things here. You got the GUI scale you can adjust if you want to adjust the size of it. Uh, you've got your notifications here. Uh, you can make them uh, stay on the screen longer. Uh, you can turn them off if you want to. We're just going to leave it on default for now. Uh, you've got some display help. Uh, this show next path, I actually like to turn that off uh, because it will put a line out in front of the tractor as it's driving along. And I just don't like that visual effect. The line height here, uh, it will either be at ground level or up above the tractor. I will show you that in a moment. We'll leave it at ground level for now. And that's going to uh, change the height of your uh, markers there along your course. Uh, tool tips, you have that mar show markers. Of course, you want that to be on. Switch to markers is pretty interesting. This one here, if you turn it to yes, will allow you to teleport to all of the waypoints that you have created on your auto drive course. Add settings to H HUD, you can turn that on if you would like. Um, the rest of them here are just personal preferences. The global settings here. Uh, not a whole lot here that we're going to adjust other than the auto connect start and end. I'd suggest you keep these to no. Uh, what will happen is if you have these set to yes, is when you start recording, it will try to auto connect to an existing course. You may find that useful. Uh, I have personally had some issues with it in the past because it will try to connect up where I don't want it to happen. So you end up having to disconnect that anyway. So I would suggest leaving those to off or no. And uh, driver's wages here, you can change that if you like. If you don't want to pay your driver, uh, you can change it. And the rest of these, we're not going to adjust this episode. Uh, this one here are just some personal 
settings if you like beacons on or your blinkers to come on automatically and then you have the debug settings here probably will not use this 99 percent of, of the time and then the very last one here is some other options again not relevant to this tutorial uh, and actually i need to actually i needed to save that so let me go back up here and the ones that i have changed so auto connect let me apply that all right so we are going to go ahead and set up our first course but before we do that i want to jump over here to this vehicle which i have out by the road and there's a reason i want to go ahead and go into this safety triangle here we're going to click that and that opens up our edit mode for auto drive and you'll see here on the menu we do get a few more icons that show up but the reason i have this out by the road is i wanted to show you that because i imported the ai network we already have some of the course populated for us so that's a pretty cool feature here in uh, farming simulator 22 version of auto drive while we're here you'll see that the the nodes here are along the ground but if we go back to the menu in the user settings we're going to change the line height to above tractor click apply and we'll have to open the menu edit menu back up and then now you see that the lines have gone up above the tractor this is a personal preference thing uh, there are times when this is easier and sometimes it is not so that is something you'll have to play with and find what works best for you so now you see that the tractor has this red line extended from it so what this red line indicates is 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 from the tractor to the closest node here on an existing course so there there is a course out by the road that is closest to the tractor and that point is the closest one so it is always going to try and connect to the closest node uh, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start creating a course so the first thing you're going to do is click record here so we'll go ahead and click record and it creates a point at our tractor so i want to name this this point i want this to be a waypoint that i can select and drive to you'll click on this third icon here that looks like a hot air balloon and you're going to click that it's going to ask you to name it so i'm just going to name this main farm click OK and now you see that it is named and it has the hot air balloon above it uh, just to show you what it looks like on the map if we hop over here to the map and we'll zoom in here and you see the auto drive AD hot air balloon and if I left click on it it is shown as main farm which is what I named it and then down here it says visit so I can actually visit and it teleported me to that location. So that is what I was mentioning there in the menu where you can have that turned on. Since we did not move the tractor, I'm back into to record and we're gonna move the tractor forwards. And as we move along, we're gonna get this line. So I did left click on the record button and that is gonna give us that one way direction. Uh, there are other modes and options there but we're not going to look at that in this episode. We'll look at that at a later time. So we're going to drive along here and create part of a course. So as we turn along the corner, we get the waypoints pop in. But here's where I found something pretty neat. So what I want to do is we have stopped here short of the road. And what I want to do, since we have an existing path here along the road i don't need to drive along and create a new path so i want to connect this part of my path to the existing path that is out on the road so what i'll do is i'll, I'll left click on my node here and then i will hover over whatever node i want to connect it to if i wanted to go out that way i could connect out there but i want to turn to the right so i'm going to hover over it and then i'm actually going to use my scroll wheel and just scroll so i can adjust if i wanted him to swing out and around i could do that but i want to just make a smooth turn there and then i'll left click 
there you go it's connected but stop there before you start moving the tractor again go ahead and left click on your record button to stop recording because you don't want to record over that path that you just created so now we're just driving along we are not recording and I'm going to come down here to this driveway and we're just going to go ahead and pull into the driveway I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to start recording again so there you see we have started recording I'm going to pull up to get a second node So now I want to create a connection here. So I'm going to left click on this one here. And then over here, we're going to try and connect it. But before I connect it again, I'm going to use my mouse scroll wheel and make a path and then left click. So now we have a nice curve into our yard. So I will click the middle mouse button, pan around again so I can drive or see where I'm driving and then we'll continue on creating the path and as we come along here to the main farm location I'm going to stop short and I'm going to unlock my mouse again left click on it over to it left click and there we go turn off your recording and there we have our very first course is just a circle but it is connected to an existing network and it will allow us to now drive to this location. So now we're going to go through a couple of the modes here on the menu. I'm not Like I said, I'm not going to go through all of these menu ic icons because they are not relevant to this video. But real quick, there are uh, several different modes. Uh, there's the one that we're in here is just a drive mode. It's going to take you from your location to a point. So now if I was to select a main farm, if I click start here, it will just drive to that waypoint. Uh, there are other modes here. You have pick up and deliver, deliver, uh, load and drive to a location. You have the combine unload and then we're back to the drive mode so there are several different modes there we're going to go through them all in future episodes but the one we're looking at today is just the drive mode so since i am past the waypoint i'm going to go ahead and click you see i'm the john deere guy in there so we're going to go ahead and click the power button here we're going to start a helper we got a bad dude in there now he's going to drive along for us and you see there, I did not turn off that indicator there on the in the menu. So you see the line that's bumping out in front of the tractor. I don't like that. So let me go ahead and turn that off. That is the show next path. We'll turn that off, click apply, and that disappears. I don't like that out in front of my tractor. You may, and that is a personal preference. So as you can see here, he is driving along our course, and he'll pull up to our waypoint and stop there we go you see the notification there at the bottom uh, you can turn that off as well so that's it that's how to create a simple path we're not going to look at editing the waypoints we're not doing anything other than creating and driving along a path i hope you found it useful if you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you do not miss any future episodes of the Auto Drive Academy series. I appreciate you all for watching, and we will see you soon.